my name's Laura Thomas. Um, I am a health improvement uh, dietitian um, and I'm employed by the local health board. <clears throat> And what I'm actually employed to do is to deliver a, uh, a Welsh programme, which is known as Diliamaitha Mois, or Nutrition Skills for Life, um, which is a national programme um, where the overall aim is to uh, improve kind of knowledge, skills, access um, to healthy, affordable uh, food for individuals, their families and their communities. Um, so uh, as a group of dietitians, there's not many of us across Wales, but we do have representation in each of the health boards. Um, and our goal is to kind of offer out consistent messages uh, across Wales um, so that we know that all the communities, all the people are having the, uh, the same kind of evidence based um, nutrition messages, which hopefully will uh, support them to make um, healthy choices um, for for them and uh, and their well-being. <clears throat> um, so one of the kind of most uh, relevant and new and exciting things that we've been able to develop over the last uh, year, 18 months, we've had some funding to develop a, a national website. So um, all the dietitians across Wales got together to, to develop this website that you can see. Um, <clears throat> So, and we've uh, been able to upload lots of our resources um, and lots of information about what we do and what you're able to access in your local communities uh, onto this website then. So I thought I would, I would show you around a little bit on the website. Okay. Okay. So. So. If anybody's ever looking for it, um, we've we've got it nice and succinct there, right in the middle. What our aim is um, as a collective, and that is uh, for the people in Wales to have the skills, opportunity, confidence to access healthy, affordable, sustainable food. As I said, for themselves, families, and communities. And then we've got kind of six key objectives about how we we aim to do that. <clears throat> um, so it's building capacity of the workforce um, to access the a varied and balanced diet that's really important that it is very varied very balanced um, so that uh, people are able to to get all the different types of nutrients that they need um, one of the key things that we do offer is accredited nutrition training um, and I'll talk a little bit more about what training people are able to access um, and how you'd be able to access that if that's something you'd like to um, like to pursue um, and this is all very much geared towards kind of prevention there's key public health messages um, for the healthy population to prevent the development of any kind of diet related uh, disease diseases later on in life <clears throat> um, we also support the development of healthier environments um, and improve access to nutritious food um, and we support local action and development of community food initiatives as well um, really focusing on co-production, ensuring that they're evidence-based, um, making sure that those kind of key evidence-based messages, which sometimes can, can be seen as quite moderate messages, but those small messages that um, as a kind of collective will make a really big impact onto people's health um, in the long term. Um, we also support local partnerships to raise the profile of nutrition, to uh, achieve better outcomes. And a key focus for us is to work with communities that experience disadvantage and may benefit from the most um, from those, those small changes that, that could be made um, in the long term. Okay. okay. So there's lots of information and resource um, on the website. <clears throat> Um, some for the public, some for healthcare professionals, uh, some for community workers. Um, I thought something that would probably be most uh, relevant to everybody in the room today was just to, to touch on some of the public resources which you might be able to signpost to or use, um, you know, in your in your work. <clears throat> um, and that would probably be uh, the healthy eating information. Okay. So if I open that up, you've got all of these that pop up and you'd be able to access. If it's going to work, there we go. There it is. Um, so some of this information that you'd be able to use alongside um, your uh, any any projects that you're that you're involved with. Okay. So as you can see, this is the Eat Well Guide. 
Um, <clears throat> And uh, what the Eat Well Guide is, it's our kind of UK um, healthy eating model. And it shows that all the different foods that you need in different proportions um, to achieve a healthy, well-balanced diet. So if you're going to put all of the food out in front of you um, over the course of a day or a week, this is not just a meal. Um, they would all fit into all these different food groups, but it's the proportions and the balance um, which is most important. And all of these foods that you see in the body of the guide, um, these are essential to life um, and they provide you. And it's having that balance um, and that variety that provide you with all the goodness and, and nutrition um, to, to support and maintain health. Um, something that's really important to note is that the Eat Well Guide is only um, applicable uh, from age five or above, and not all of the messages um, apply under the age of five. <clears throat> Um, but it can be applied to um, most population groups, um, regardless of weight, kind of dietary restrictions, preferences or choices then as well, as long as um, you're over the age of five or above. Okay. So just conscious of time. So I'm just going to touch on training as well. Um, so we have a, we've got a little tab here for training. <clears throat> and I'll jump to the community um, worker section. Um, so we provide um, nutrition, education and training uh, to key assets who work out um, with the communities. <clears throat> with the, the overall goal is uh, to kind of build those evidence-based key nutrition messages and thread them through the work that that's done. Um, now, all of our training is accredited. We're accredited for the Gorod Cymru and anybody who's trained up to a level two, um, and that's our community food nutrition skills level two, is then able to, to go on and deliver our, um, our level one courses as well. So we have a level one community food nutrition skills, which is um, very much a knowledge-based skills course. Um, but we also have um, some quite practical and skill-based courses as well, uh, which is known as Get Cooking. So um, it would be about focusing on um, improving the skills, cooking skills, um, budgeting skills, but then also with having all of those healthy, key healthy eating messages thread through, um, <clears throat> thread through the, uh, the sessions. Okay. So if you were to click on any of these courses, um, what it would do is it would take you through and uh, give you some information about the content and how it's run and delivered. Um, okay, so our, as an example, our level two community food and nutrition skills course um, is run over 10 weeks. Um, and these are all the different topics that we will cover week by week. Um, at the moment, because of our, uh, well, because of the situation with COVID and our geography, we're actually running most of our uh, training online. Um, usually it would be done um, in, a, in a room together as a collective, um, but it is reducing a lot of our barriers actually because people don't have to drive and travel and come to us. Um, so it feels like it's a little bit more accessible, uh, but in the future, hopefully we'll be able to, to offer a bit of a hybrid between both. So some will be online, some will be in the classroom um, together then. Okay. Um, and then just to very quickly show you some of our level one courses. So anybody who's trained to a level two community food nutrition skills and they've gained the accreditation, you then actually can go on and deliver any of our level one courses. Um, so we've got, as I said, the level one get cooking with the overview here. Um, and come and cook. So that's a little bit more of a hybrid between the, the knowledge-based classroom kind of work alongside the, um, uh, the skill-based uh, development then of those cooking skills, budgeting skills. There we go. Great. So what I will do is I will pop the, the website link in the chat, if that's okay. Um, so that everybody's able to, to have it, to have access to it. Um, it's, if anybody wants to get in contact as well, on the webpage, we've got the contact for all of the different uh, health boards across Wales, 
but for Howard Dar, it's it's me, my email address. So if you click on the email address, you can get hold of me. But I'll pop that into the the chat as well. So if anybody's interested in the future and coming on any training, maybe we want to have a bit more of a conversation about how we can support maybe um, a, a food initiative that you've got happening, or um, want to consider how you can kind of shape your environment to support healthy eating messages. Please get in touch. So, yeah, great.